Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld, and we to introduce the newest addition here. We've got ourselves a muffalo calf. Just popped in a few minutes ago. So there's a, he's two hours old. Mm-hmm. Last episode, we got dangerously low on kibble. I didn't realize that until I was editing, we had 15 left. So, I ran the game for about a day, and spent time sending various ones out to hunt individual animals, and, you know, kind of... Uh, just took control over each one and took my time and brought in the most meat I could in the shortest amount of time to get us functioning again. And in the meantime, sent uh, all various people down to do jobs all around it. Last time we talked about moving the the block cutting over to here, so this is what I came up with. There's a quick little block cutting area. I've got a, a, a tool cabinet in here to speed it up a bit. And storage in the area to move blocks over to it. In fact, this one has yet to have anything brought over. Why is that? You are granite chunks and critical. Okay. Well, I guess they're filling up other ones instead. Um, what else? We filled in some of the blanks over here and started to do some construction in that area. Got Natalia moved down. Um, what else? Oh, I had Miss P cut out a little bit over here with the thought that you know, I wanted to get the uh, the components, but we had the table and chairs over here somewhere. I guess I moved it over to the the uh, stone cutting area, and I was going to stick a you know a table in here and put a couple chairs in the hallway. But this is beyond the line where you can construct, and apparently you can't even place an item across that line either. So I couldn't put something in here if I chose to. I couldn't put a chair right there if I wanted to. So we have a hole in our wall. <laughs> But we're going to have to live with that. Eventually, we're going to need the steel, too. So we're just going to have to roll the dice and uh, and take the uh, you know, take a hole in the wall. Um, anything else that I did? Don't think so. We do have a little tiny space right here. Um, I think I can get one wind turbine over here. Trying to find sources of power. So I've got to playing with that. We could put one here if we wanted to. Um, it's not something that we can protect, though. So it would most likely be attacked every time we had a raid. So I think we are, well, until we start emptying or demolishing this whole area and getting an access to land again, then maybe we could you know, do something right through here, a couple of wind turbines in this area or something. I'm not sure. Depends on where Overhead Mountain is because this was all, that's all natural stone there. So there was a mountain in this area. So it would depend on what's, what's above here. Right there, Overhead Mountain. So where it says rocky, rock thin roof, we can take that down. So kind of, you know, this area and out. So we'll see. Got to come up with more sources of power. Right now we're doing okay. Um, did have it through the night and burnt a little bit right over here and got all that repaired. So that's why the batteries drained down to nothing. But with the the uh, solar generators up and running again today, where are we? six in the morning then we'll get that going otherwise um i don't think there's anything else that we did other than got some more planting going again and uh, well okay here's one thing i did do i moved all the kibble out of here completely i figured this is for the grazing animals we'll store the hay in here a little bit of hay uh over here i moved all the kibble in this area and down here with the dogs and made sure that anything that was you know either dog or pig or or hare I guess were our three choices that we that we've got that would eat kibble. Make sure they all have access to this room, and the dogs, of course, have access to the the full uh, refrigerator as well if they need it. So everything that eats that can get by with just hay is now assigned to this area right in here. So I think that's a better way of doing it. I don't want Muffalo munching out on on a, a whole stack of kibble just because it's there and convenient. So I figure there's no point in doing that anymore. So with that, I've got quite a few people assigned to hunting, and I've got 40 or 50 little rodent-like things out here that are that are marked and cued, though I can't see hardly any of them right now. There's there's a rat. Ah, scroll got through here, and maybe I just moved into the map. Pause. Well, we'll hunt the one. What are you? You're an ibex. Um, otherwise, I had sent a couple up here to take out the, the couple of mega sloths that has shown up. There's another turkey that just showed up. Okay, let's just do a few of these, make sure that everything's marked that could be. And we'll move over here. 
What's in this area? Is there a wolf still around? Wolf's right there. Needs gonna be eaten soon too. I'll have to kind of watch this area. Don't know. Oh, the fox was taken down. Okay, by Mr. Wolf. So maybe we'll sneak up there and butcher that one. Otherwise, another fox over here. Not seeing any more animals that aren't marked. Okay, except for big animals. We're not going after ostriches or emus or or pigs right now. These are all of our all of our folks that need some skilling up in their shooting. So we're not sending them after you know after a wolf right now. Mr. P's going out there to take out. I don't know. What are you trying to shoot from clear over here? You're trying to shoot that rat from over here, aren't you? <laughs> what if I were to reset that? No, you're not hunting that rat. What are you hunting? And you're consuming a fine meal. No, 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 no. Hunt the rat. Hunt the rat. You can't. I can't click on that anymore. Why can't you work your way all the way out here to do nothing? <laughs> That's RimWorld. Yep. Why can't I click on that rat? I wonder if it's assigned to somebody else and it's just not... There it is. Now it's there. Let's try it. Now we got to fight the doors. There we go. Good. Let's do that for a while. Of course, he's hiding behind the tree. 15, 14% chance. 16%. Well, she'll get there eventually, or she'll starve doing it. I'll have to check up on her again later. Otherwise, who is up? Looks like everybody's up right now. Let's see what we are doing. Tomasov is sleeping in today. Handy, you are over here building a wooden end table. Okay, I had her build... Hmm, this one. One of the last things to build in Natalia's new room. And she brought over wood over here, so I guess that's what she's up to. Rabbit, you are filling in blanks. Good. We have so many. Shantigo's using a telescope. I, Right after I finished last episode, I was kind of moving through here, and I realized all of this time that telescope has still been sitting right here with a line connecting to it, waiting for somebody to walk over and put it in. So I just grabbed the first person I could find and assigned them. So we've got a telescope. Using a telescope, character... Uh, needs joy. Just wonder if it kind of gave a sense of joy tolerances. Interesting. Hmm. A lot of shooting going on out there. Alright, let's continue our tour. Klaus, you are consuming a fine meal. Sangria is doing some more training. Kathra is harvesting rice plant. Good. Natalia is over here going after a what? After a squirrel. Alicia shooting rats over here. Eh, it's going to be an interesting day. We'll see who shoots who by the end of the day. <laughs> Alright, so you're using chunks over here about as fast as the, the pigs are bringing them over. So Handy is working her way over to build a granite wall. So she's just going to be working on random stuff for a while. And I think think that's probably fine. We spent all last episode specifically targeting certain things for her to build. Why is there a charge rifle over here? Um, storage. Raw food. I did reset it. I just haven't... Uh, there it is right there. Anastasia. I, was, I thought I read Anastasia. <laughs> that's an interesting name. <laughs> is hauling that one away. Um, how far did we get? We got to Michael down there. Using the telescope, Mr. P, hunting a rat. Oh, bringing a rat in. Good, she got it. All right, that's done. We'll get somebody to butcher that one. And kibble, about 400 kibble. Plus there's seven that's not registered. Alicia was out there. She got her rat. Good. Going to be a lot of rat skin dusters coming up soon. Michael, cloud watching. So someone else got your telescope? Oh, that's Eric. There, that's where I thought it was. Okay, Eric is over there. Cloud watching. David is building tiles. He's going into the prison to work. And this one needs to get filled in soon. Ah, eh, we'll leave it for now, though. It's kind of convenient. Ah, Schmidt. Schmidt needs to be worked with here. What is Schmidt doing first? Schmidt is hauling in a squirrel. So she got a hold of a, got a hold of a, of a critter. Has a revolver. And 
has a shooting skill of four and a name of grandma. So we have a grandma in our colony now, and that is who Schmidt was. Who's grandma? Well, let's do that so everything changes over here. Grandma was a cult child. Grandma was born in a powerful cult with stunned, shunned advanced technology and believed that all illnesses could be cured by cleansing the soul through sacred art. After her first glimpse of the outside world, she decided to run away. Medicine negative three, artistic plus five, and crafting at the drug lab is disabled. As an adult, she was a jailbird. <laughs> Grandma spent most of her life in prisons, where she was put to work in the kitchens. She had a habit of getting into fights and developed an aggressive way of speaking. Okay, I don't see that over in the traits. Um, melee plus five and cooking plus three and doctoring and wardening are disabled. Okay, so can't warden because of her aggressive way of speaking. I see. Traits, chemical interest has an interest in chemical sources of enjoyment. She will consume more of them and will sometimes go on social drug binges. She will ignore directives not to use them, but we're going to assign them anyway. Where are you at? Alphabetical? This time it is. So you are a no. And that is everyone. Yep, okay. And back to there. We've got nervous. Grandma tends to crack under pressure. Mental break threshold of plus eight. I wondered about that because she was probably to break a couple times last night when I was getting things set up for this episode. And she's a nudist, which is interesting because David is the one that recruited her. So they had, they had some uh, common uh, interests there. Enjoys the feeling of freedom that comes from being nude. She can handle clothing, but will be happier without it. So I gave her basically the same clothing arrangement as um, David, except that I set his for melee, and I set hers, G, for range. So he's got the, f the shield belt, and she does not, basically, is the difference. And I went ahead and put the duster as an option, and they both you know, went up and chose them on their own. And as a result, she's probably also got the negative three all the time. Otherwise, feeling bad, ugly environment, and a little bit of pain. Um, health has a bad back. Um, moving is negative 30. And manipulation is negative 10. Uh, old gunshot wound to the left hand and frostbite scar to the right hand. So manipulation is going to be poor. Yeah. Is 58 years old. Figured grandma fit just perfectly there. And is hunting a rat. Okay. So she's going to add some interest to our colony and with that let's just take a peek out here to see who's shooting whom any names out here nothing out over there really nobody's out there they've all got their first kill and they've all brought them back in and they're i guess heading back out for the next run okay so michael is using the telescope tomasov is up he is playing horseshoes so it's it's the 10 o'clock hour. That's what's up there. And Tomasov didn't really need it, so he's going to move on to sewing, whereas Rabbit must have, so he's going to continue cloud watching until he hits a line somewhere. So he may be doing this till noon or so. Zangria as well, playing horseshoes. So she's hit her first line. Be curious to see if it, when she hits the second line, if that's what it takes to, uh, to release her. Let's give us a few more ticks here. Right about there triggered. She threw it. Is she going to throw it again? She threw it again. So she wants to go all the way. I guess we're going for 100. No, she went for 92%. Aha. Uh -huh. Anyway, what else is going on here? What's on my list of things to do? Um, the hunt was a big thing. I don't know who is set for butchering right now. Shantigo's just having a ball over here. In fact, Let's have you next. That didn't work. That's what I wanted. Um, reserved by Anastasia, which is how far away? Not a mice. Oh, clear over here. Nah, too, too far. Okay, so next you are going to haul. All right. Do that. Haul those away. And pause. Got to do it before a dog claims it. 
there. No, still can't. Now, no, nope. and now. Nope, I can't. I can do this one. 18 rat meat, but I cannot do the turkey meat. Hmm. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. It's so there's only one rice over here too. We're just gonna have to one of the reasons why I wanted the meat to be in this little area here, just for cases when that happens. Then uh yeah, it'll just have to work. Okay, so I'm hearing a lot of noise. What is that? We're building floors over here and over there. Bringing it all over. David, do me a favor and haul in some more. Um hmm. I need someone just to haul blocks out of the way. How do we do that? Who's around here? Who's got the fastest run speed? Is well, fastest run speed versus fastest uh, um, uh, work speed. Hmm. Well, Handy, come on over here and haul this. That's just well. Boy, where do you put them? I hate to fill the aisle. That's even worse. But guess get to right there. Now come get this one. Let's just do this for all the walls. Then we'll haul all the blocks in for the uh, for the walls. Where's the next one? These two? That it? For walls, I think that's it. Get you down a little further this time, right about there. And then you're going to do this one next. Oh, we got more walls over there. But granite? Yeah, we've got mostly granite now. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this done. Yeah, that's good right there. Do that one. And then, David, why don't you haul in granite, hmm, gets to here, all the granite in, break down electric smelter, we haven't even used the electric smelter, how could it break, okay, handy, go ahead and drop these out here in the middle, that'll be fine, so go ahead and haul this one, and haul that one, that's a big long pause, boy, that spooked me, I thought the game was going to crash, item stash opportunity, now let's get these last few things done here, Haul that one. Okay. So here's how you quickly get the... the oh, you dropped it right where I didn't want you to. Okay, I can wait for her to move away from the wall. Right there. Come get this one. And that one. I think we're good. I think so. I think it's everything is in the walls now. That'll do. Okay. So, Handy, why don't you bring the granite blocks over for... Mm, wait a minute. For this area. you got a good run speed. David's laying... Actually, you're laying all these out. Um, no. Handy, do this area instead. Looks like David's got most of these in here. Now, where are you going? Going to fill in the door. Okay. Now, why don't you bring more in for that one and these doors. And Klaus, where'd you disappear to? You are replacing broken component and electric smelter. Um, where's Eric? You were over here making kibble. Ah, you drew the short straw today. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So, we'll just work with these two. So, handy when you're done. Why don't you move over and do that area there. And then I guess bring some more marble to this area. Okay, so what did we have here? Opportunity, Huntsman, Chief of Accordimino, has informed us of a collection of valuable items not far from us. The collection consists of an AI Persona Core. Hmm, if the ship was our goal, then that would be the one to go for. Unfortunately, it won't last long. Others will take the item in 17 days if we don't. Beware, valuables tend to attract danger. Unfortunately, Huntsman has no idea who or what, if anything, might be guarding the stash. Um, not thinking we're going to dive into that one. So let's go ahead and pass that one. Otherwise, we've got to break down. That's done. Um, what's over here? And Klaus is just arriving. Wish I'd thought about that. Well, there's still parts sitting over here. When you're done with that, why does it keep doing that? I'm holding the shift down. Hmm. 
I guess I gotta do this first, and then work on that one. So get that repaired, fill in the switch, and a little piece of mental break. Grandma, yeah. A little piece of, uh, that's not the WSD, of conduit right there. I want to connect these guys to a switch, rather than coming over and turning them off individually each time. So if you would do that and that, let's go see what's up with Grandma. So she's going to be kind of uh, touchy until we really get a good room and, and everything that she needs to keep her mood up. In fact, maybe let's have her already assigned to multiple. Well, there's part of the problem. Never got the uh, order to joy. Okay, well, let's do that, that, and let's give her an additional joy toward the end of the day. Yeah, let's say 1800 Anybody else needing that? I don't think so. There's not been a lot of uh, of, uh, of issues with that lately. And there's a rat right there. Tell you what, let's get you in. Uh, cancel that and haul this one. And then let's get you assigned back over to art. She does like to art. Got her going on that last night and that, that got her out of this uh, this problem. Grandma, right there. And art is down over here. So we have a passion there. Have a passion for growing. Uh, skill of three, so we'll work on that someday. Passion for hunting. How fast does that go up? Work, character, uh, needs, joy. Well, it's not going up anymore, that's for sure. Okay. Rest. There's not much more I can do other than get more greens into the list to get that any higher. Because everything else here is... Not bad. I mean, it's an ugly area. That'll, that might be what caused the tr uh, trigger this time. There's, uh, I think we had a, uh, a psychic ship over here, and everything's kind of blown up and, and ugly. So we should see beauty start to increase here, which might cause this to increase. Let's see if that moves as she moves through the area. Nope, it's going down further. Okay, then let's get her to art. So over there, art is a one, so we'll take hunting back down. She'll go over there and work on her uh, her sculpture again, and that should take care of her for today, till we get uh, till we get things figured out on her schedule. But yeah, little by little, kind of working everybody out so that we're not getting mood issues anymore. Like this, all cleaned up, so Michael is in a nice place, so that helps his moods. Um, making more blocks, gonna grab something to eat. So I moved that table and chairs that I couldn't put into that wall, right over here in this room. And this will just have to do. Though it'd be nice to get some smoothing done in here. I'm hearing noises. These kind of noises. Um, speaking of smoothing, Handy, you are so fast at it. Needs, you're going to need food before long, and we're at 1900. Let's. Handy, where specifically? We'll leave Miss P alone. Let's go through Catherine's room real quick. Smooth, and you should be able to do this really fast. I bet you you could do all of this while or before you you hit a, a warning for your food. I'll have to check on you to make sure that's the case, but I suspect. All right, that'll clean up Catherine's room. I need to move somebody over here. Let's think about that while there's still three hours left of the day. Um, Natalia's over here, and she will be doing a lot of crafting stuff. Michael, what will Michael be doing? Work. Uh, let's go this way. Michael. Character. So, art. Not some, well, possibly crafting. Though we got to find something that actually levels them up. I know, skills them up. But art specifically. Mining is good, except it's usually a dark, dirty place, and that goes against them. Cooking is good. And he's actually getting kind of good at it. Um... I haven't come up with a good solid reason for where everybody's going to be moved to long term, other than Shantigo near the kitchen and Tomislav near the hospital and Klaus probably over here near the prison. So beyond that, none of these are set in stone yet. It just seemed to be that way. I wonder if Michael would be better off long term in the kitchen with occasional art. Which means he's in this area. Let's play with that. Let's at least get him to over here. And then eventually move it up a little higher if he's the... Who, let's look at cooking real quick. Uh, cook. Let's 
hate to do it that way because it reorders everything and now I'm, I go crazy trying to figure out where I was. Grandma's actually the next best cook, but she's a seven, Michael's a six, and he's got a passion for it. Oh, she does too. So they're both potentials. Klaus is no has no passion for it. Catherine does, but she's already booked. So Grandma and Michael, potentials. Both like to art, both like to cook. Hmm. Okay. So it may be that those two will get like these two rooms eventually. Don't know where gardening would go in this. It could be anywhere. There's no there's no rhyme or reason for that. So Rabbit doesn't have to be here. He could be anywhere around. Even out in this block over here. In fact, he may be good. Actually, the melee skills may be good over in this area. And Klaus is, I think, the, the highest melee skill. So Alicia may be, be, may be good over here. Hmm, to to be the first ones on the scene for a jailbreak. That makes sense. So Klaus and Alicia over here. Let's try to keep that in mind. I don't have her over here yet. I have Miss P and Natalia's over there. Okay, so, well, let's get Michael over here for now. Which means what? Which means probably building a bed. Michael's bed's right here. It's a normal bed. Okay, we want to build a bed. Your dresser is shoddy. Your nightstand is normal. Another nightstand over here, poor. So all you really have is your artwork. That's it. <laughs> Let's set this up and have and assign uh, uh, handy to get these built for the day, for the rest of the day. So build a bed and get you a room. <clears throat> I'll put it right there. And a nightstand next to it and a shelf unit that can go right there a dresser put that over on this wall and what am i missing your art a chair so michael let me know what kind of a chair you want in here i'll put a placeholder in here just to remind me that there needs to be a chair and then we'll move the art this big old monstrosity with a really good beauty over here reinstall and that can drop right there in the middle of the room <laughs> and then this little guy over here reinstall you and we'll take another look at what all these are someday and in fact i think that might look better right there let's i can't do it that way okay let's go back to it over here right there reinstall that in this corner now do these rotate they don't okay it lives right there and <clears throat> Yep, that works. And then the little one. Reinstall you probably near the chair. Yeah, something like that. Okay, so with that handy, while there's still time left in the day, you are going to smooth floors. Now, nah, let's go ahead and get you doing this. So you're going to do this instead. Uh, bed. And I'll specifically say that one. The bed takes how much wood? 35 wood. And there's 30, so there's 65. So you'll bring enough for those two the first time. This takes 50, and you'll probably fill in some more over here. Shelf unit, work left. I'm confused. Why doesn't it tell me how many materials are, are there? There we go. Zero out of 30. That one broken? It's not being hauled from somewhere. If I click on this, there'll be a line. There won't be a line. Where's that being hauled in from? I don't know. Interesting. We'll just have to wait and see what happens there. Um, handy, we'll find out. We'll have you specifically do that one next. Okay. Now I need somebody to haul the, the statues in. Michael, where are you actually at? You were down here and cutting stone needs. <clears throat> actually, mood's doing pretty good. There's no negatives about being in the dark or anything like that. Um, stone, we need more marble. Otherwise, I would say do what you're going to do. Cut and then come over and work on and work on. Okay, we'll do it that way. And then when you're done, you can work on. You will not do cleaning. Never mind. <laughs> okay, well, I, we'll get you guys going there. Who else can I do this? get to do the smoothing while there's still time then? Tomislav, you are growing, and I want that to happen. So, Rabbit should be as well. Good. And Shantigo, cooking. 
the last of the meat. Hmm. Not a lot of little critters came in today. Meals 51. I think we're set for 60. Uh, looks like somebody... I got rid of the meals in the... the uh, the jail with only one person left they were going to rot before they'd ever be eaten so just manually feed them and that was a chore too I had to quickly make Eric's room a jail transfer over before the transfer finished someone came and got the food out and then reset everything and yeah it was he was touch and go there for a while <laughs> Klaus you are building a granite wall nope you are smoothing Cather's room there we go. No, nope, let's do it this way. There. Yeah, let's get this going. We'll smooth Michael's room tomorrow, or Miss Appease. Got her started, at least. Do you need food? Ah, you need food. Let's do that instead. Don't want any breaks. It. I see. I'm hitting the right-click for some reason. That's what's causing that. Klaus? Yeah, because right-click is what would give me the, uh, this. Interesting. Maybe I didn't have him selected. Maybe that's what it was. <clears throat> One more time on here. Click all of these again. Now I set my timer. Oh, I did set my timer. So we're about half hour into this. Now I haven't had a crash of the game for a while. Something went really wrong there. Oh, I clicked the wrong one. Mm, that's fine. We'll do that. We'll do that and that. And I'll take that back off it again by having Michael one more time. I can't. <laughs> oh, won't let me right click anymore. Unless I let it run for a while. And now can I right click? No. Nope. That's one of those, those few tasks that Rimworld will not let you take over by right clicking on it and assign it to somebody else. Oh well, well, we'll figure that out. Um, anyway, I had noticed that. Um, oh, I pulled up the task manager and was looking at it with nothing running. Well, with nothing actively running, just a bunch of programs running in the background, like Chrome, with its you know 40 tabs or so that I've got. I kind of use mine as a desktop, but um, worried if maybe that was it or something. But nothing was really actively working. It's just sitting back in the background idling and system resources was 75 percent which was a lot so i started shutting things down and it stayed that way I just had rim roll running and eventually only had um my corel video studio software running as soon as i turned that one off it dropped down to like eight percent system resources with just rim World running that thing was just sucking up everything so i've been turning that off every day while I record my episodes and I have hadn't had a crash since. So I think that was causing it. Of course, you know, in about 10 seconds the game's going to crash on me just because I said that, but <laughs> I think I'm done with that problem now. Alright, Klaus, you are cleaning up in here and there's a handy moving in a shelf unit, which was one of the last things I asked you to... Oh, you have been here that many times? Wow. That's impressive. Okay. So, there's a handy... Oh, Michael's moving these. Oh, I got the rooms mixed up. Okay, so you can't do that because Klaus is doing that. Okay, so Handy, you are consuming a fine meal. Okay, and when you're done, come on back over and work on that and that and that. Great, and clean that up just because you can. All right, so Tomasov is still working on here. Great. Rabbit's still out there. Little by little, they're kind of filling things in. I wish they would get back to the food. You know how many times I've sent them over here. They make the long trip to do one, and they go off and do something else. I want the food coming in. We're getting a little bit sparse here. I may just have to take a day like tomorrow and just set everybody. Well, like I said, everybody to hunt. I have to set everybody to grow. Hmm. Maybe I need to cut this thing down. I probably do. I think we just have too much going on here. We're never going to get the rest of it going. Zone and delete zone. Let's pull out there. Whatever has not been done yet. Like so. Down into there. Let's take out there. And there's something else that I did. I laid out what we talked about last time. A boomalope area. 
and see if I can show it. Unfortunately, the game chose a really bad color, but and it didn't put it on here. I'm out of space, so I can get to it if I go to manage areas. Then I can't move. Anyway, um, right there in brown, picked an area that would be just the boomalopes. Then when you get to the grazing area, I took that out of there. So the boomalopes will be in that area all by themselves and everything else will be grazing around them. It'll look like it's all but one big field, but they'll have boundaries. We'll have an invisible fence buried right there. Yeah. And so once that is done, then we will assign the boomalopes to a similar, smaller version of, of this little stall system I built right in there. And they will be in their own area of one suddenly dies gets struck by lightning whatever we don't uh, we don't have five animals dying in the explosion with them so that's the long-term plan there and it's within the same system so don't have to have any more doors going in and out of it you know this will be open and that'll be open i think we'll see maybe there'll be a door that's held open so we can have temperature control we'll have to figure that out see if it's necessary actually it will be necessary because we have doors going through here that'll just let them in. I guess I will have to door that. Let's uh, cancel this strip so I can have two runs, two doors at least. Right, who's making shooting noises out here? Miss P is and she... Nope, that's not her. She's eventually going to get there. Where's Mr. Wolf? What did he eat last night? Don't see you there. Somebody's shooting over there. There's Mr. Wolf. And that's not the one. You must have ate... Oh, turtle. Right there. So unforbid that. We'll go after it. Muffalo is given birth. There's another muffalo. Okay, somebody over here is shooting. There we go. Natalia is heading for a rat. 0.77% chance you're never going to get there. So draft, come on over here. And we'll try it again. Okay, right there, and fire. 2% chance. Now, I've been told that dark doesn't play into it anymore, but I don't see any other reason other than laying down, if that's considered under cover because they're sleeping. But it sure seems like dark has something to do with this now. 2% chance and there's no trees or rocks in between. That doesn't make sense. Let's go a little bit closer. Draft, go right there. But you gotta give it a sporting chance, don't you? Yeah, you do. There's a 5% chance. So one out of every 20 shots. <laughs> oh, she's gonna get so practiced up. Okay. I don't feel like I'm accomplishing anything more than just kind of reporting what they're doing this time. don't have the overwhelming sense of a game plan like I did last time. Over here, Klaus, you are resting. You went till 1 in the morning to finish that load, including the one that I didn't mean for you to do. But you got Cather's room looking really good. Okay, that's good to see. Unowned. Oh, this was supposed to be Michael. Kind of took all your stuff out of here. Um, beauty. 5.4 because of that. And because we took it out of here. Now you are in a negative 5. A negative 0.5. Um, what is that doing to your mood? So beauty is right there. You're gaining some. I'm going to move you. And I want to see if you gain more. You're at 64%. Let's just see, and that's pretty much there. You've reached about all you're going to get, according to that. So if I were to set you over here right now, what would be the difference? Where am I? Right here. Of course, we have this construction going, but wooden bed, excellent. No art, but it's an excellent bed. All right, let's 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 see the difference. Set owner to Michael. Right there. So Michael needs... Let's see if you get a disturbed sleep out of that. Nothing so far. Good, didn't happen. Be nice to get Natalia to finish some more assault rifles. But we need the meat coming in. Uh, this door can no longer needs to be held open. 
Any more like that? I did hold open everything right through here. I figured if we have a bug infestation, we're still sealed at the end of the hallways. Alright, heading to bed, and let's see if there is a difference. Needs. So, 62%, that just jumped up back to where it was before. And let's see if that resets again here in a little while. I don't know how many seconds is in between, but uh, I've noticed that RimWorld, well, just maybe it's maybe it's every hour. We'll suddenly tick off another uh, another readjustment. Let's see what happens at four. Four is going to take like ten minutes to get there, isn't it? When you're just playing the game, time flies. But when you're staring at it, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I can do this. Let's look around. Anything else got done? Uh, still three in the morning. Slowly but surely filling these in. I put the, the furniture in too. I don't know if you can see it through all that. But we've got uh, a bed, bed, nightstand, dresser, chair, uh, the stockpile for the four o'clock. 62% didn't move. Okay, for the uh, processed meals or uh, prepackaged meals. And then I think there's a table and chair in here as well. It's pretty crowded and a light bulb. But I think it will work fine, at least for what we're doing. And we'll see how the prisoners act when they are separated out. Don't know if that's going to help them, help us from not getting prison breaks, or if that's just going to make them less moody because they have nobody to talk to, or I mean more moody, or just what. I'm not sure what to think about all that yet. have to experiment with it. We know where the two art people live, don't we? Wow. No more giant sculptures. <laughs> Otherwise, um, 42 minutes into this, we need to get more growing done. We really, really do. Hmm. Let's cut out some more of this real quick. To get rid of... Now, I guess I needed to know where the boomalope area was. So, clear the pastures right there. We're basically in that spot already. Okay. So, right in there. Okay, so we'll leave that. So, let's think about who should be heading out there. In fact, I'll pause it so it can go straight there to do some more growing. Growing right there. Shantigo needs to be cooking. Or else he needs to be butchering. In fact, he can do the butchering when there's no meat. So, we can get other people like, like uh, oh, everything's been reordered. Oh, I wish I knew what to click to give me back to an order that I can find things at. Uh, firefight. I put Stomislav at the top. Uh, bed rest. Flick. Warden. That's not what we had. Sangre wasn't on the top. Shantigo wasn't on the top. Hunt. No. Tomislav was at the bottom. So what would cause that? Handy Klaus. That's, what did I click? Construct? Grow. Mine. No, plant cut. It's the same thing as firefight. No, it isn't. Okay, but I guess it's based on, on growing. So, art. Hmm. Now we'll just go with that. Okay. So, well, I guess in this case we'll go with grow since it's not an order that's familiar to me anyway. Okay, so let's make sure the best growers are out there. I guess even Klaus. And Handy? You know, it is important. Let's go ahead and make this a major priority for the day. So, Sean Teagle, you are going to do all of the cooking. So let's get Eric off of there. And any other ones in the way? Hunting, though, is just as important. Okay, so we're going to have to do that. So Shantigo is over there. Alicia, you can... You're hunting, though. Well, we'll do both. If You you may jump back and forth. Mississippi, grow. You're hunting. Grow over here. Michael, we'll do that. And Eric, construct. No, we'll set you for grow for the day, too. David does not grow, so you can continue building. And Natalia can continue hunting. Okay. And what we could do, as soon as David and Eric get up, 
So Grandma's going to be ranged. So these are the only melees at the moment. And they are up. Let's take a look at them. Um, butchering. Needs. Let's... Okay, how many are you carrying? You're carrying 16. Drop that off. And grab a meal. Good. Eric is... Boy, can I do anything to alphabetize these? No, I can't. Okay. So back to work. Anyway, what was the one? Um, Eric. Where are you at? You're down here now. So... You're now set to mining first. Oh, Eric does not grow. I think I clicked the wrong one. Let's get you back to construction. Right there. Okay. So you're going to construct. And... Alright. So, but what I wanted to do is get a hold of David and Eric and send them out before we end this episode and go thump on something and see how well that works for melee training. So, let's do this. Needs, let's get you some food. Consume a fine meal. Eric is consuming a fine meal. Alright. So, let's have you draft and come out to where? Natalia's over there. Let's go north. Where can I get two or three things that are nearby besides a wolf? Nothing left over here. We have a fox to go thump on. And an ostrich. <laughs> an ostrich will <laughs> make mincemeat of them. Um, Ibex over here. Turtles. There's a turkey. Let's go into this area. Let's send you to here. Turkey, hunt. Okay, David. Let's actually pause, draft. Grab that meal, drafted. And then send you out into here afterward. So, here as well. Okay. We'll pick something, have the two of them thump at it, see how badly damaged they get and decide whether or not that's going to work or not. Like, we can go after a rat, or a squirrel, or that turkey. I'm kind of thinking the turkey. Those right next to one of those scary turtles. Hmm. No, I think that's the best one. Now, Miss P, you were doing what? You got what you wanted. Great. You got a, got a squirrel. So just one turkey in the area. There's one over here. And we'll go for this one. A little bit closer. Where are you guys at? There's an Eric. Question is, do I have them do them individually? Or do I put them both together to increase the odds that they're going to get through this without too many bites? Because we're going to have to pull a doctor aside to... Okay, Eric, stay here to uh, put them back together again afterward. All right, David should be here real soon. You're going the long way. So, David, pop over here. And head over to here. Alright. Here's how we're going to end the episode. It's either going to go really well or really bad. That doesn't work. Do that there. Is it going to fight back? Oh, that went really well. Okay. Well, let's go after a rabbit. And this time let's watch the Melee scores. 1232. 1482. Whoa, that, that actually goes up quite fast. And no injuries yet. Okay, let's do this for a couple minutes. Come on over. Though we're going to have to get all these things hauled in. Wish we could do this in a place that's closer. Do I put you after a pig? Hmm, some kind of bigger prey. Because I kind of want the little stuff for everyone who's going to get some uh, shooting practice in. Um, well, let's go after this one. Melee this one. And we'll think about the pig. And then we'll stop there just because we're going to have to haul all this stuff in and find someone to do the, the hauling. Pump! And it's done. Okay, we're going to... In fact, I don't need to even queue it up. Come on over here and 
thump on this and let's see how bad this goes. <laughs> they have tusks. Oh, they're fighting back. The pig's fighting back. We got an injury on David. Uh, health. A crack to the spine, just like that. Oh, man. So, took him down. But I think that's the end of our, our pig hunting by, by, by club. Okay, well, let's do that. Uh, David, you haul this one in, and then you can go get worked on. Eric, you haul this one in and get worked on. Alicia, do me a favor. I'm sorry for the long trip you took out here, but can you haul in this one for me? Consume. Why is that? Alicia is... I hit the wrong one. Okay, there we go. Haul. And we have a fourth corpse down here, but nobody to get it. Okay, somebody else will come up and haul that in. All right then, well, that was interesting. And with that, I guess I better call this one done. It's a noble rambler, and thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.